Welcome to SADI's African Storybook Initiative. African Storybook provides openly licensed picture storybooks in the languages of Africa. We have produced two apps for offline use, one for reading and one for creating stories. These instructions are for an Android phone or tablet, such as Samsung. Using an iPhone or iPad is very similar, except that you go to the Apple App Store. First, using the African Storybook Reader app. Go to the Google Play Store on your device and download the African Storybook Reader app onto your device. Once you have downloaded it, open the app. There won't be any storybooks in your library yet, so most of your screen will be blank. When you are connected to the internet, click on Explore at the bottom of the screen. At the top of the new screen that appears, click to select a language. Scroll to select the language you want. I'm using Chichewa. Chichewa storybooks will appear on your screen. Choose one of them by clicking on it. I'm choosing Chilango. When I click it, the storybook opens on the screen. You can read it by swiping your finger from right to left. When you are done, click the small orange arrow at the top left of your screen. Now click Library at the bottom of your screen and you will see that the book, Chilango, has been added to your library. You can read any of the storybooks in your library offline without an internet connection. If you want more information on how to use the Reader app, see a video on YouTube called African Storybook Reader App download and install. Now get reading. Using the African Storybook Maker app. If you want to make a story, we suggest that you plan it in advance so that you have decided on a title, language, the words of the story and the images you will use. First go to the Play Store and download the Maker app onto your device. Once you've downloaded it, open the app. The app works without an internet connection. Click on the plus to start. You will see that the app shows new storybook and the instructions which you can read. Put the title of your story into the space provided. We will say this is called My House. Then you need to put the name of the writer into the writer section. I have already put my name in, so I would tick that this is my by me, then tick Done. Language of Storybook. You scroll like you did before. In this case, I'm going to say English. Done. It seems to have done you here. I choose a picture of the cover and then I choose a picture on the cover. You have three options here. Take a photo, go to your photos or go to app picture. These are pictures inside the app which you can choose. Here they are. I'm going to take one here of the inside of a house. There's the inside of the house. At the end, you click Save. You have now got the front page of your book. Now you're going to add pages. Tap plus to add a page. You need to put the page text in the space provided. My house is red. We also need to choose a picture on the page. Again, 
go to the app picture. We will choose a red house showing somewhere here. There's one. And remember, click Save. You continue to add pages by clicking on the plus sign. So an additional page, you'll click there, put in the page text, and put in the picture. When you're finished, you click Save. The storybook is saved. You can then look at the storybook. There it is, my house. And we can, at this point, we can either edit it or delete it, or we can publish it if you have an internet connection. It will be published onto the African Storybook website. That's how to create stories. Now go and create some of your own.